वो मतलब पॉपुलर नहीं हो पा रहा है अभी तक पॉपुलर नहीं हो पा रहा है नोटिस में अभी अभी लिमिटेड है और हाँ अब एक तीसरा पॉइंट जो मैं शेयर करना चाहूंगा स्पीसीज के बारे में अभी निर्मला बता रही थी कि पर्टिकुलर स्पीसीज का पर्टिकुलर यूज है बैंबू का भी लगभग 200 सौ स्पीसीज है जो की जिनमें की मैं जो एडिबल एडिबल है पैलेटेबल कहते हैं जिससे खा सकते ऐसे स्पीसीज दो का बता दें लेकिन जो मुझे क्या लगता है मुझे मैंने जो देखा ये बैंबू जहाँ भी बैंबू है वो कोई भी स्पीसीज है उसका शूट लोग खाते हैं जो कम्युनिटीज है इवन बालाघाट में मैं देखता हूँ डेंडो कलेवस स्टिकस है जो कि बहुत ज्यादा पैलेटेबल नहीं माना जाता है लेकिन उनके शूट्स भी लोकल लोग खाते हैं मतलब शूट्स खाते हैं फिर वो उसका जो है चावल में भी लेकर बना के भी खाते हैं फिर मैंने उसको इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होटल मैनेजमेंट है भोपाल में उनको दिया कि आप इसको बनाइए तो उन्होंने फिर उसको तैयार किया और इससे ये पाया गया कि इवन डेंडो कैलोमस स्टिकर विच इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड टू बी पैलेटेबल एडिबल है वो भी उसमें उसको भी खाया जा सकता है उसको यूज किया जा सकता अब थोड़ा सा एक एक्सपीरियंस मैं शेयर करूंगा आपको हम बैम्बू फूड का जो है कहाँ से हमारे हम लोगों ने जो स्टार्ट किया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होटल मैनेजमेंट है यहाँ तो हमने दो दो बैम्बू फूड फेस्टिवल ऑर्गेनाइज किया भोपाल एक तो हम लोगों ने खुद ने किया बैम्बू मिशन से और एक होटल को थ्रू कराया यहाँ पे बहुत बड़ा होटल है तो हम लोगों ने आईएचएम को कुछ राशि दिया और उनसे कहा कि आप जो है रेसिपी डेवलप कीजिए उन्होंने 18 रेसिपी डेवलप किया और फिर उसको वो इट वाज इट वाज अप्रिशिएटेड लाइक एनीथिंग मतलब यूएनडीपी वालों ने भी जो बैंबू का काम करता है उन्होंने बहुत उसको अप्रिशिएट किया तो फिर हमारा आइडिया था कि वो फूड आउटलेट जो है वो आप खोलेंगे और उसको कंटिन्यू करेंगे तो वो अभी हो नहीं पाया जिससे हमने उसको और परसू किया जब यहाँ पे यहाँ पे मैन म्यूजियम उसके डायरेक्टर थे सरित चौधरी एंड आई थैंक यू टू टू गेट टोमो जो टोमो रिबा जो है अरुणाचल यूनिवर्सिटी से है तो वो उन्होंने उन्होंने हम लोग मिल के टूरिज्म डिपार्टमेंट आई एच एफ मैन म्यूजियम सब मिल के हमने प्रोजेक्ट बनाया था कि बैम्बू का जो फूड है फूड फेस्टिवल करेंगे कंपटीशन करेंगे उसको डॉक्यूमेंट करेंगे और प्रमोट करेंगे अभी वो थोड़ा सा हम अभी ठंडे बस्ते में लेकिन हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि उसको करें तो ये एक बैकग्राउंड है अच्छा इंटरेस्टिंगली ग्लोबल मार्केट जो है बैम्बू का बैम्बू का जो ग्लोबल मार्केट है उसमें जो फूड का फूड का जो कंट्रीब्यूशन है वो थर्ड नंबर पे है नाइनटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट है वुमेन वुमेन बैम्बू प्रोडक्ट का इक्कीस परसेंट है इंडस्ट्रियलाइज बैम्बू शूट्स का बैम्बू प्रोडक्ट्स का और बैम्बू शूट्स का जो है थर्टी परसेंट है मतलब बहुत जो ग्लोबल मार्केट है बैम्बू में अभी भी जो है काफी अभी कंट्रीब्यूशन है जो और ज्यादा बढ़ सकता है इसका मतलब है कि मार्केट पोटेंशियल जो है मार्केट पोटेंशियल इकोनॉमिक पोटेंशियल भी बहुत ज्यादा है बैम्बू फूड इन जो प्लानिंग कमीशन इंडिया में जो प्लानिंग कमीशन है जो आप नीति आयोग कह रहा है उनका भी एक जो है मार्केट सर्वे है पोटेंशियल मार्केट जो उसके हिसाब से भी जो है बैम्बू फूड का जो है बैम्बू मतलब बैम्बू शूट का मतलब अभी शूट जो है फूड जो है शूट तक ही लिमिटेड है उसमें उसका जो है पोटेंशियल है थ्री हंड्रेड करोड़ का थ्री बिलियन यूएस डॉलर तो ये बेसिकली ये इसका मतलब कुल मिला के जो ये निष्कर्ष निकलता है कि बैम्बू फूड का इन पर्टिकुलर बहुत पोटेंशियल है हमारे इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट में इस और ये एरिया अभी ग्रे है और एरिया इसमें बहुत कुछ किया जा सकता है इसमें तो मेरा ड्रीम जो है अभी पिछले कुछ महीनों से एक साल से मेरा बैम्बू फूड इंडस्ट्री के ऊपर जो है ना किस तरह से किया जाए अपने छोटे स्केल पे जो है जैसे हमारे आंगनबाड़ी है मैं मैंने मेरे को मुझे लगता है कि आंगनबाड़ी में हम बैम्बू का बिस्कुट क्यों नहीं दे सकते <coughs> बैम्बू होता है लोकल है लोकल लोग मिलेगा लाइवलीहुड मिलेगा गांव लोकल गांव ही लोग के गांव के लोग जो है उगाएंगे वहीं के लोग एंट्रप्रोने लोग बनाएंगे और वहीं का वही आंगनबाड़ी में यूज होगा तो आपके पास रिसोर्स भी वहाँ पे है टेक्नोलॉजी भी वही है आपका मार्केट भी वही है सब एक जगह है तो मतलब वो एक सस्टेनेबल मॉडल जिसे कहते हैं सस्टेनेबल मॉडल इसका बन सकता है तो इस तरह से इस बैकग्राउंड में आई जस्ट आई एम श्योर वी है निर्मला है टोमो एंड नीरा दिल शेयर देर थॉट इंसिडेंटली ऑल ऑफ देम हैव एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट निर्मला प्रेजेंटली इज इन हरियाणा बट सी हैज एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट so now i hand over the platform uh, to uh, the experts and i'll request uh, uma uh, khan uma khan to uh, share the profile of nirmala first uh, with the with the audience with the participants uma khan yeah thank you so much sir and uh, good afternoon to everyone and warm welcome to today's webinar i heartily 
welcome to professor nirmala chongtham ma'am uh, professor nirmala chongtham is a presently working in the department of botany punjab university chandigarh and he is a she is a also the coordinator dst center for policy research punjab university a postdoc in biotechnology and genetic engineering from department of molecular genetics university of hanover germany she presently works on the nutrition and health benefit of bamboo shoots and other under under utilized plants she has been awarded research grant from ugc dst dbt and ministry of food processing industry government of india and has published more than 100 papers in national and international journals in recognition of her works in bamboo she was selected as the world bamboo ambassador from india by the world bamboo organization usa in 2015 She served as a chair of the technical committee of the 10th World Bamboo Congress Korea in 2015 and 11th World Bamboo Congress Mexico. She has traveled widely to deliver keynote and invited lecture in several countries of Europe, North America, South America and Costa Rica and also in many states in India. She is a recipient of grant from the NEED Jacquet Foundation and American Bamboo Society to add her ongoing research on nutritional and health benefits of bamboo and help in the economic de- de- development of society and food security especially in rural areas she has recently published a book titled bamboo shoots superfood for nutrition health and medicine by crc press usa as coordinator of dst center for policy research punjab university chandigarh she was involved in drafting the science technology and innovation policy and road map for development of the bamboo sector in india in the area of food and pharmaceuticals with niti aayog and ministry of development of northeast region so now without any delay i would like to hand over this webinar and timing to professor nirmala chongtham ma'am please ma'am you can start your presentation now okay uh, <coughs> thank you makant uh, uh, i just let me just uh, share my screen Uh, can you see my uh, uh, can you see my no screen okay. not yet okay okay yeah no, we can see now okay presentation mode okay yeah fine excellent so uh so on the answer a very good afternoon to all uh i would like to thank uh, dr Bhattacharya for his enthusiasm in work in uh, organizing this uh, webinar series uh, because I know it's uh, it's it takes quite a lot of time and uh, uh, during this series we have experts may have spoken they have spoken about uh, the different aspects of bamboo and uh, today's uh, theme bamboo for food and health is an aspect which is uh, less discussed and not given much importance uh, 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 but now uh, bamboo is emerging as a superfood and many countries have taken advantage of uh, this and they have established successful uh, business models and uh, as dr bhattacharya just mentioned that the potential of bamboo shoots are, are huge now because globally it is people have come to know about uh, the health uh, the nutritional and the health benefits and so because now we are so concerned about the health uh, so bamboo shoots are, and different countries are coming up they started <coughs> planting also and those who were not uh, bamboo shoot eating countries they also have started uh, consumption and uh, setting up of industries for shoots and uh, niti ayog has also come up. we have already the national bamboo mission but niti ayog has recently come up with the bamboo <coughs> development mission and uh, a special uh, category food and pharmaceutical food and pharma has been included and uh, this is a very big thing i think because this was an area which in india it was not 
uh, touch more and it is also just felt that only the northeast eat it uh, and uh, others but it can spread and just like dr Bhattacharya mentioned we have such a lot of uh, bamboo species as well as it, the areas are very uh, big so and he also talked about having food products with angan and you can introduce it angan wadi as a biscuit but we can also use it as a flour also and mix it with the wheat so that the uh, when you make chapatis that would be also a addi uh, value addition as well and good for the health also so uh, starting with this uh, my talk today bamboo as a bulk is uh, is a plant bamboo is a plant which is very close integrately associated with our traditional culture since thousands of years and what is a bulb of fish that is a tree it, it it will it is fulfilling all needs what do we mean by this because bam, every part of bamboo is used and also it can be used for housing household items agriculture fabrics biofuel food medicine so many things so uh, in, in rig veda it is mentioned that the rishi just prayed to god that just give us a hundred bamboo clumps with uh, indicating that with bamboos we can have a we can start a very basic living because a person can build his house he can he can uh, have fishing implements for agriculture then food so everything so which and any other plant on this planet cannot provide so many things which bamboo provides so multi-utility plant we just talked about kitne uses so many uses now huge constructions uh, and then vehicles so this is a modern era we traditional is very important but with changing times we have to change there are electronic items there we have cosmetics we have beverages uh, food fabric so it is a multi-utility plant which is which is globally being recognized and the food part is gradually coming up so the total changes bamboo forest area growing since 1990 to 2000 it has increased tremendously so you can see from the graph how bamboo uh, growth is increasing and uh, as i just told you that south america it uh, they have they uh, they grow just 100 and 100 hectares uh, which is not there in india india we are depending mainly on the natural resources so that so that's why now it is very even in the northeast a bamboo bowl costs so much whereas when we were children they were so abundantly available but looking at the demand and the natural resources for uh, uh, bamboo is being depleted but it is not planted as such so much can be done but farming because of so many different policies okay bamboo has been now considered as a grass but then there are policies which needs to be changed at the bottom level and there is not much freedom everybody is happy about it's a grass but there there are so many integrations within so in india until and, and why we always talk about india because because there is still not plantation is very limited if you go to brazil if you go to mexico if you go there you just talk about 100 hectares 1000 hectares i have seen there that the how uh, uh, large volumes it is for paper industry everything is there so we there should be some change at the there maybe in coming times it will be more so now first thing that keeps the planet healthy because oh, it is adapt uh, it uh, it uh, sequesters carbon it is a renewable resource and it is very adaptable kahi bhi dal do a bamboo it is not it is not as difficult as it, it is, does not need to be pampered and in natural resources very less use of we don't naturally we don't use a fertilizer or a pesticide or a herbicide and for economic development and rural uh, for women empowerment especially if you go to the northeast you can see on the on that all uh, how the women markets they bring shoots whether it is in Manipur, Arunachal or, or, or Shillong so they, it gives a lot of power to the women for, for earning their income so economic development that way in shoots but it can also be go to other 
So then it also provides, just to give you how much uh, uh, bamboo can provide, it provides shelter for for an, uh, birds and also animals. The bamboo bat is one which uh, it is born in a crevice and then it survives and uh, bamboo wren, bamboo foliage green, they are all mostly confined on and on bamboo and depend upon bamboo. And we know about animals, they're giant panda, we have about red panda, mountain gorilla, mountain bone, all these animals, they are, they depend a lot, some 100%, but some mostly they live on bamboo. And and all the parts are consumed, whether it is a branch, young culm, shoot, leaf. So, so look at the number of animals also, which depend upon upon bamboo and in in Missouri, when i went I, I, I travel a lot for survey and when in Missouri, <coughs> they told the story about the tortoise that the tortoise, when the shoot comes up they eat the shoot and they can hibernate for four five four four five months that's that's a story which uh, old women told it was very interesting and for humans now for humans we it's coming out in a different form and uh, actually we in uh, we do not sell in the notice also we do not sell uh, bamboo uh, the shoots in a very in a very perfect way like it is just on the roadside so now but you for attractive consumers there has to be also a change in the way we present the things now bamboo is medicine this is also thousands of years uh, there is a known Ayurvedic farmer, uh, of Prakash Nikam, he is a very well-known medicinal book, and it is mentioned the, uh, uh, that bamboo is how important bamboo is. So it is not something new. It has been uh, not only in Indian system but in also many Asian books about. Uh, they have uh, talked about how it is good for the digestion, how it is good to relieve hypertension, how it can prevent. Uh, vascular, cardiovascular diseases and so the, these are documented and also in Ayurveda. So if you talk about Chavan Prash, Chavan Prash is, has bamboo, bas lotion, tabashir and they have uh, uh, health promoting uh, properties. So now of all the aspects, I am taking up the food and medicine part because it is most neglected especially uh, particularly in India. One thing is lack of awareness also, and another thing is it is not a, a lack of awareness. <coughs> so now, how? Why is bamboo now called a superfood? Because it has all. What is a superfood? A superfood is something uh, which, let us say, plant which is uh, high nutritive value. It has vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. Antioxidants, uh, we know that how it uh, affects our health. And so their health beneficial properties, losing weight, digestion, then lowering cholesterol level is one uh, big aspect. And it prevents a number of diseases. It was there. So traditional knowledge is already there. Hot salon se pehle, we know that it is. Uh, it, but now, scientific intervention, scientific interventions have uh, authenticated that what was written in our old books now it is really true because they have found those uh, uh, biochemical components so it can be used as uh, for the pharmaceutical industry and now the global perspective dr bhattacharya also gave uh, gave us uh, uh, some account but if you look at this if you look at this is a very recent uh, uh, Figures. So now we can see that uh, we talked about, you look at the, uh, the figures, uh, Mexico, Italy, Europe does not normally grow, uh, it is not naturally grown, <coughs> so, uh, Italy, G Netherlands, Germany, they, are not, they do not grow bamboo, but realizing the potential, they have started growing bamboos and look at export value shoots, and this is a, that is the most uh, surprising thing that Mexico is exporting, to United Kingdom. So in two, three years, this was not there. I remember that uh, in Belgium, that was the first time when our, some, we, I, I gave a lecture about in 2012 and in that 2015. So in three, uh, in three, four years, they have really jumped and they are able to export. So they just uh, uh, take up things and they grow and they have a constant supply. We do not have a constant supply in India. 
we we only wait for the monsoon season three or four then our processing is not correct and the, the shoots are, are uh, harvested from different species which is does not give the the product will be not good if uh, if you mix the shoots of different species so uh Nutritive value rich in proteins, carbohydrates, amino acids, and a high content of minerals. All these minerals, potassium is good for the heart, and then iron is good for iron. We all need iron for the metabolic processes of body and rich in dietary fiber. We always talk about we should have fibers, you know, vegetables, and so these are the nutritive value. I did not, I'm not giving you a lot of uh, scientific figures because uh, that will not be so interesting, but uh, we have our research papers who, where we have given all the data. So uh, uh, these are the edible species. I agree with Dr. Bhattacharya that there is no bamboo species, which can, uh, no bamboo shoot which cannot be eaten. I have, we have, uh, uh, we have test, tested uh, shoots of species which were uh, uh, to, told to be non-edible, but it is just processing. So these are some of the important ones. Uh, which could be of commercial uh, use because of the size of the shoots and then the uh, the bitterness. Uh, so these are just something, but we can consume any uh, any bamboo shoot. Then uh, fresh shoots are consumed, fermented in in the shoots. We can eat them fresh, fermented, and dry. The fermented gives a very pungent smell, which may not be uh, uh, like for others. It may be. Uh, the smell may not be so good, but we have proven from our experiment that this is the best for health. So fresh shoots, like all these countries, Australia, Australia, you cannot think that they eat bamboo shoots, but Australia, Japan, we know, Mexico, Mexico also, they did, they, they are not so familiar, but they have taken up in a big way, Malaysia, Philippines, this is Colombia, this is also addition, Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, they are new addition. South American countries which have taken up bamboo as a food. India, of course, fermented shoot is very popular in the Northeast, in Nepal also, and then dried shoot also. So these are so these are some of uh, the concerns with shoots. And then calm also loves the how it can be eaten and then used and then seed. Seed in South India, they prepare uh, Swedish, Mungil are seed. Those are they prepare and then they are some. So in South India, they have there is also some reports and the leaf are mostly used for beverages, tea, wine, beer and water. So these are all, uh, Mexico is coming up in a big way in, with bamboo beer and also Australia. But Mexico has outcrossed Australia. Now Mexico is a big bamboo beer producing country. So then missing where supplements are used. Then and leaves. We know that shoots are and a lot of work is done in shoots, but leaves. Leaves are now being used for making uh, wine, beer, water, and tea. Why is it? Because now these are our experiments. Phenols, flavonoids, vitamin C E. They have the leaves has a good content of these. So it is uh, it is uh, good for health. And then for regional, we use the shoots for cuisines, for beverages, and bamboo supplements. And this is one which uh, those who are not familiar with the bamboo shoots, we have first to remove the sheets and then uh, peel it. And then there are ways of how you want to. They are a bit bitter. They are acrid. So we can either soak it, we can either boil it, and we can ferment it. So when you boil the shoots, it will be light yellow in color. And this is how the appearance changes when you subject the shoots to different uh, processing. So this is just to show you about the processing techniques which you, we use during our studies. Soaking, soaking is one. This was followed. This was followed. Okay, keep us wait. This was followed. Veera, hmm? can you stop your presentation? Okay. Hello, is my is there another somebody? Yeah, yeah. No, just uh, hold on. Uh, okay. Neera has, has started her presentation. Neera, can you stop your presentation?
नीरा नीरा कैन यू स्टॉप योर प्रेजेंटेशन नीरा उमाकांत प्लीज आस्क नीरा कॉल नीरा टू स्टॉप योर प्रेजेंटेशन ओके सर राजू कहा चले गए थे यही था सर यही था नहीं तुमको बुलाया था ना मीरा मैम जस्ट स्टॉप यूर प्रेजेंटेशन मैम यूर मोबाइल आइकन सोइंग मैम जैसी है हाँ सर कॉल करके बता दिया सर मैंने क्या कर रहे हो या या यू कैन स्टार्ट सॉरी क्या हो गया था उसको सो इज इट नाउ विजिबल नो नो यू हैव टू ओपन इट स्क्रोल ओके वेट मैम कैन आई स्टार्ट माय माय साइड मैम हेलो क्या मैम क्या आर यू शेयरिंग ओके मैम आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग माय साइड मैम वे ट्राई टू माय आई एम जस्ट जस्ट वेट मे बी आई जस्ट ट्राई अगेन या मैम जस्ट या या मैम नाउ ओके ओके सो व्हाट अबाउट दिस या मैम ओके फुल स्क्रीन विजिबल या मैम Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Audible as well as visually good. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'm going. I'm going. So we reached here. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. 
so th uh, yeah this is where we reach. so i just show i'm just showing you soaking boiling freeze drying <coughs> and drying. so as you see that when we uh, use different techniques uh, there is change in the color so we get this in a either in paste form or you can get in powder this is what i think when we talk about value addition and uh, to uh, for increasing the nutrition of the uh, of, of the of the children which are being fed you can you you can even uh, mix these bamboo uh, shoot powder with the wheat or uh, or any other thing if you want to for making edible things these can be uh, this can be added as a value addition, which we have done in our experiments when we are making the novel food products. So these are some of the traditional dishes uh, prepared with bamboo shoots. You can prepare it with peas or you can prepare it with fish or different herbs. And then also different countries. So Japan, how it is Mexico. This is a new thing for them. And I remember going, when I was there, they, uh, they uh, we discussed a lot of things and they, they have made, they have uh, mixed it with their traditional food. This is from Philippines, Malaysia with coconut oil and then Korea. Korea, so these are, uh, we we have been uh, cooking in, uh, bamboo, in bamboo for so many, I remember my childhood, but here look at, they are still using this tradition in their, in their restaurants. So, and then all these are bamboo shoot items. So it is, we do not introduce this in our food system. That's uh, that's one thing why people are not also aware that is it edible because when I talk here, they say that, oh, how can you eat a bamboo? So lack of awareness, lack of availability is one thing. Now it is being used in value addition for making a lot of bakery products, dairy products, even in yogurt. Yogurt, if you use, uh, if you put some bamboo shoot paste, you can have, uh, we have, and then you can make paneer also we have tried all these meat products and beverages tea soft drink juice which is also there and then you can mix ketchup pasta noodles and nuggets also so it it can be mixed with any any other subject in any any other thing or do so uh, that is edible so these are the contemporary food products look at this is the sweet uh, bamboo uh, charcoal sweet a uh, swiss roll and Burger King has also added some activated charcoal. This may not be very seem very palatable, but it is it is there. And these are products which we can very easily make. Then ice cream, and then this. So this is produced in Italy. So imagine Italy uh, being in Europe. It is producing food products valued with with uh, bamboo shoots, but not in India. It, it, we are not still aware about it and we are not thinking and then the main problem is to the supply of food the supply of the shoot so noodles pastas this has all been for some of our experimental products and we have evaluated all the chemical all the biochemicals nutritive value everything is uh, done so it is scientifically validated beverages bamboo tea we talked about beer, we talked about wine and bamboo water also. This is simply you're using, using the antioxidants which are present in the leaf. And then this is also a very uh, interesting, interesting thing which uh, it, it just a marketing, let us say, in China, they fertilize the bamboo with, uh, they, they first, they fertilize, uh, they take the panda dung and they uh, who eat on bamboo shoots and they think that it will be it will be healthy and so it is so costly so this is look how people go for marketing also and the, this is the inventor An Yan, uh, An Yan Shi at Sichuan University so look these all uh, tea the, this is uh, fertilized by by uh, panda dung which uh, which feed on uh, on bamboo so it may be just because it, it, there are a lot of things in marketing also what how they show the things so the medicinal property which was documented in our pharmacopoeia about uh, uh, anti-obesity anti-inflammatory immune system now everybody is talking about <coughs> immune system yeah it has anti immune immuno stimulating proper properties which we are presently working with the my system anti-cancer anti-diabetic these are all proved uh, from these all studies come from China, but they are what they are working on is their own in, uh, is their own species. We need to identify uh, bamboo species of which are indigenous to our 
to our country. And then these are also scientifically proven. I'm just showing this to you to know that to let you to to uh, to just highlight that it is now scientifically proven. Uh, scientists have found the found the biochemical compounds which can act, which can act as an antimicrobial, uh, which can uh, we can anti cancer cholesterol lowering properties, anti fatigue, this is uh, anti diabetic. So all these are now uh, proven. And why is it good for health? Because the most uh, uh, important is antioxidants. And the antioxidants which are present in bamboo, vitamin C, E, phenols, and flavonoids, and trace metals. So because of these phytochemicals, they make our food healthy. Then the antioxidants, not only the food, for the dietary and the cosmetic also. Cosmetic, uh, Korea makes a lot of cosmetics, China makes a lot of cosmetics, food antioxidant. Because uh, in uh, uh, for the food to have a greater shelf life, uh, that it is used as a food additive. We use synthetic, synthetic antioxidants are used, but bamboo could be one which would uh, be a natural alternative as a functioning food ingredient. Then as a nutraceutical, so there are so many uh, different type of uh, bamboo supplements which come in the form of powder or in the form form of capsules. Uh, this I, I do so show uh, when I give a lecture because this is interesting. It has an ultimate anti-aging uh, considered because of the presence of silica. Silica it, uh, bamboo has the highest content of silica, about about ninety percent, seventy percent is there. And what we are using is uh, another plant, but bamboo has uh, more. So it is good for bones, nails, and feet, and for uh, also supporting different uh, uh, systems of our, of our body. Then this bamboo extract, bamboo dietary fiber, which I just uh, talked about, food additives as slimming. So these are available, and these are all Chinese companies. And uh, and there, look at the companies. These are the company producing dietary fiber from Germany. Germany is a big con uh, country which is very uh, enthusiastically following. So they are available in a powdered form. So you take you you take a spoon of this dietary fiber and you just uh, put it in water or you put it in milk and you can ha have it just like you have some horlicks or some complan. So this is the bamboo dietary fiber used as a food in different countries. And then these are some of the experiments which we did to really see that does uh, bamboo, uh, do bamboo shoots uh, really increase the body weight? Yeah, uh, decrease the body weight. So this is uh, uh, worked on uh, uh, on mice and the initial well, this is the control the control where the mice which is not fed with just given normal food has so you see those uh, mice in which fermented shoots were uh, given uh, monitored so increasing the body weight also that also in the organs they were also different but i'm not showing that i'm just showing the decrease in the body weight and then here also the lipid profile uh, the LDH, uh, LDL, which is considered as a bad cholesterol, the decrease in cholesterol, triglycerides decrease. So this is, these are, and all these are giving, uh, are shown much in the fermented shoot. So these are, give, uh, these are groups with different doses, group one, two, three, four, five. These are the different doses and they decrease the cholesterol level also. This is a work uh, done by, from, from the shoots of Dendrocalamus hamiltoni. Hamiltoni it is widely available in India. And now we talk about ecotourism. Why can't we think of something like this? Uh, they, they have areas, eco parks, and then they, they make it as a dining park. <coughs> For them, this is good. We have mostly plumping bamboo trees. That we do stick this. I, all the bamboo lovers, they know that uh, how this. So this, this is very important. Which is this is in Korea, and the food system also. They have designed uh, ovens which can in which you can push in a bamboo pole. So they first what they do they uh, the bamboo pole is uh, made uh, is halved and then you put all the ingredients inside. 
and then you push the bamboo in this oven. So when uh, when the guests come, this comes out. They take it out from here and it is opened out. And then you can see all this. So this is how to attract the tourists. So this is a very uh, loved place in Korea. This is in Damyang where the World Bamboo Congress 2015 was there. So this was the main attraction of, of the uh, of the Congress and of other tourists also to how to eat and directly from the bamboo you're eating. And this is also good because a lot of minerals which are inside also is absorbed by the food. So this is just an innovative idea how to use the, that you eat bamboo also and you use the kalm in a different way also. So this was, this is what all our, all of uh, the uh, participants who, who uh, attended the Congress, they were, they were given this treat just to, uh, to popularize the use of bamboo in a different way. So uh, to conclude, I would just like to talk about the World Bamboo Organization we are, where we are all volunteers. Uh, and World Bamboo Organization, uh, we have uh, so many members there and all expertise. So when you go to the website, if there are uh, directory and if you need any help, you there, there you architecture or fabrics or shoes. Even I am there. So if when somebody needs somewhere, you can go to the website and then you can have information. So this is and we all work voluntarily on a ready. We do we throughout the year we are working and uh, World Bamboo Congress is organized every three to four years. So the last one was in Mexico and. Uh, Next, after Mexico, it was to be in Taiwan last year, but uh, because of COVID, it was uh, it was cancelled. Now this year, we are having a World Bamboo Workshop in Vietnam. So first, what was in Mexico, then in Peru, and 2019, it was in uh, Manipur, India. We organized it there, and so these are these are activities where where we sensitize, where we popularize, and when we teach people uh, how to work with bamboo and its utility. So this is one uh, organization which is all uh, comprises of members and experts who work voluntarily and that is why we uh, engage people in different fields and now uh, just to give you that idea that the world bamboo workshop is going to be held in vietnam and it is a bamboo eco park there will be different competitions uh, even there will be i think a bamboo shoot uh, food uh, uh, edible bamboo shoot competition also there they are planning that so green life and sustainable development so this gives a lot of uh, uh, awareness also in the promotion of the bamboo so i will end up uh, with that because uh, my mess i have to just give my message and uh, others we can the detail out we uh, can if you want some scientific studies or other we can have it uh, in, from the research papers also we can so okay I just come back uh, <coughs> hello hello can we have some questions yes uh, sure, sure. Uh, yeah we'll have question we'll have question uh, but but after after uh, other two uh, resource persons speak. We'll have a uh, question uh, succession. Uh, thank you, Nimala. It, it was wonderful. And uh, I'll, I'll propose that let's take up a project on community based uh, food, for, uh, bamboo food, uh, for experience. <coughs> so, uh, yes. we, have, we have one participant, uh, Daipayan is there. So he's uh -huh. interested in, uh, say, uh, that uh, chain of custody. Uh, export and all that you'll take care uh -huh. so let's think of okay. taking up a bamboo uh, a community yeah. based bamboo food uh, uh -huh. with the idea of exporting okay sure, sure. we'll sure, discuss sure. on that uh, later uh, before we yeah. proceed to our next speaker tomo uh, i'll just like to share i missed two points number one actually i was mentioning about institute of hotel management where we first we had bamboo uh, food festival and uh, they developed the recipes. Actually, uh, the director uh, of that institute was supposed to attend this. He was one of the speakers. You must have seen in the, in the flyer, uh, Dr. Amit uh, Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Anand, Anand Singh actually is hospitalized. 
and uh, I, I just we just pray for his early recovery. He has got some surgery. And another uh, resource person we have, uh, Dr. Suchitra Banerjee. She is a professor in biotechnology, and uh, she shares some of her ideas uh, uh, in, in, the, in this discussion. So now I, I request Umakan to re read out the profile of Dr. Tomo of Arunachal University. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, good afternoon and hearty welcome to uh, Mr. Tomo River, sir. And uh, Tomo, River, uh, Tomo River, sir, is uh, from DC village, present Leeparda district. His education started from the village of Bashar Alo, JNC, and EHU Shillong, and BA from Lakhmipur, and ended uh, at RGU with PhD. Served as a uh, at JTST lecturer in Boomdila College and at RGU University since 1992. Besides teaching profession, served all the posts of the university expect the vice chancellor served as a controller of examination in charge of finance officer, registrar, dean, head of department, dean of student welfare, director of distant education, chief vigilance officer, etc. Produced 12th PhD scholars composed the university Kulgit for more than one year 2002 to 2003 was the project consultant of the ILO UNDCP and UNDP under UNO system or uh, eradication of the drug addict especially opium in the Lohit district he was a visiting professor in the Kyoto University Japan for nine months where he wrote a book on shifting cultivation and tribal culture printed at Dhaka, Bangladesh. Presently, he is a member of State Higher Education Commission, President Bharatiya Siksha Mandal, Arunachal Pradesh. Advisory member, SSA, member State Environmental Impact Assessment Board, now uh, head of Department of Geography. He loves music, paintings, cultivation, can, woods, and bamboo work and construction. Used to do all the fitting of doors, windows, tiles, water connection, etc. Office house. Uh, resource persons in vermicompost, mushroom cultivation, sericultures, and propagation of plants. So storytelling is one of the favorite hobbies. He remains busy all the time. So now, without any delay, I would like to hand over this webinar and timing to Mr. Tomo River, sir. So please, you can start your presentation or speech, sir. Thank you so much. So thank you. <coughs> for giving brief about me. It's uh, nice to hear. So am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here I'm not a scientist in bamboo and just I'm, I'll be sharing my these ideas, my knowledge as a as a user of bamboo, bamboo user. So in case of our natural practice, we have been this uh, since childhood, we have been using bamboo. So here I'll be telling you my this I as a user of bamboo and this bamboo is very much in the life of the people of Arunachal but the tribal people. It is a part of culture. This is a part of religion and very much it is part of the economy of the people of Arunachal Pradesh. As in the beginning also I say the life of tribal people cannot be think of everything without a bamboo. You see every you will see bamboo, use of bamboo everywhere. Because bamboo is different from wood. Wood cannot be used for all the purposes. Bamboo being light, being heavy cube, it can be made this uh, to rock. So bamboo is in tribal life. You see every time, everywhere you see people are using bamboo. So in case of this ornatural Pradesh, I'm repeatedly I'm saying, though we don't know scientific this values of as them say very nicely. I learned a lot from Mem Nemala, the scientific values, but we tribal people of this area, we don't know scientific value, the food value, the nutritional value of the bamboo, bamboo as a food. But we eat for test, we like it. So, because I'll be taking, because our, without bamboo, our this kitchen is incomplete, our food is incomplete. Daily I used to eat bamboo soup as a food. So, in case of, if I say bamboo, bamboo is the major raw material for our natural produce, this is the of Suppose if you construct a house, we can have a house of complete 
only of constructed with bamboos, only with that using even a single wood, we can have a house as a bowl, as a beam, as a as for floor, wall, roof, <coughs> even roof units, batteries, they should be roof. So this way inside bamboo, you can put bamboo in, at this food in bamboo cube using this bamboo as a firewood. So bamboo is used for all the purposes here in our natural produce. <coughs> this, and this uh, it is used for making bridge. We cannot make with wood. We cannot make bridge. This wood is heavy, so it is with and all the fencing work, fencing around the field, because here in our natural forest there is shifting cultivation. In shifting cultivations, this is near to settlement as I affected this and are uh, damaged. They want by domestic animals. The good is your fencing around the field. So all, all the crops you see, if you enter inside the house of the tribal house, you find all so numerous items, basket, different size, different shape and size of baskets you'll find. Like starting from a handle of a knife, knife handle, case of the machete, made, and so many ornamental items are made out of them. And in case you can see, in earlier nowadays people use bucket, but earlier we used to keep big bamboo cube, bamboo two nodels of bamboo. They used to carry females used to collect from this uh, this water source, and that source also the connecting. Of the sources used to be bamboo split, will use bamboo split from the source and bring it to place. So bamboo was used for collecting, bringing water from the source to place. Again, from the to collect, bring the water to home. We use bamboo cube. So bamboo see, and so all the hunting and the fishing equipments are from bamboo. Here we made very very few use of wood. But bamboo is used for all types of hunting and fishing. We know we be I being a tribal born in tribal area, born in this interior place. I know so I may not I am not a scientist in this regard, but if I go to forest, if I come, I'll be able to tell you how to which bamboo is to be cut, which is major, which is used for which purposes. That I'll be able to tell you because different bamboos are used for different purposes. That but and one of the thing is ritual. Our tribal rituals, in rituals, bamboo is used. Different species are used for different purposes. But for rituals, we cannot make use of the wood. It's only bamboo. So ritual images, sharing of the different designs of the images are from bamboo only. Like, like we also use, this use of bamboo as a medicine is very rare in case of us, like only suppose if there is a Fresh cut. In case of fresh cut, you this uh, same out this outer this green, they are green, green skin, and you put it, and that will stop the bleeding. And just like if there's a part, such a fire part, but your body is burnt, then we should do ferment the bamboo should be put. This is how how far it is effective, but this is used as it have been using for many many years. That's like for sports. We use for wrap making bamboo is used and in weaving also in weaving of the loin cloths this all the equipments are bamboo only except this rock their wood is not used bamboo is used for and black splitting in black splitting big size bamboo used to be used to blowing air see use of bamboo so much in case of here in case of our natural forces now when you Talk of the bamboo as a food. As Mem say, we learn a lot from the Mem, Nirmala Mem. The scientifically, we don't know. But our food, as I say, our food is incomplete without bamboo suits. So every if you, if you don't have a, this enough collection, you feel sometimes sometimes you feel this uh, something something missing in your kitchen. So this way every year we used to keep collecting. Use quantity of bamboo suit fermented one we used to keep collected and it is mostly used as a test maker. We every food because in case of us we travel we don't use uh we don't use this spicy spices. So though we have one of the yesterday also also I was talking to some of the groups that though we have changed lot, but still we we carry mother's food test. 
Now we have shifted to the other capital, but food change, food habit is still we should carry. And among these all food habits, we use a bamboo suit. Bamboo suit you'll find in every house, every party, every big piece bamboo suit is you. But thing is, we don't know scientifically extraction, scientifically use of scientific preservation. But it is used and it can be fermented, one can be kept for fermented bamboo suit can be kept for more than a year. We should keep only uh, life should reach it and it should be packed properly. So it can be kept for many, many years. And that uh, the fresh one, fresh shoot, during season only, as men say, it is not systematically called, it is not packed, it's only roadside. It is only seasonal only, if you cut today, it will not remain fresh tomorrow. So we have to eat immediately, and rest, we make it, this, uh, we'll make it uh, small and we'll keep it fermented. This is uh, here also, this land it should help us in this natural process, how to make it, this bamboo fresh one also, as when I was in Japan, the suit also, fresh suit from China, it came in packed, packed system. But here, till now, we have not that. We should do big size, fermented one. Uh, that what we do, we'll make a big basket, big basket of bamboo. Again, bamboo, to keep a bamboo suit, we make a bamboo basket, big basket. We'll put inside, we'll put sufficient uh, leaves around it and put the bamboo. Then that one, keep one, top one, we'll put it in and we'll cover it with stone and press with stone, big stone, heavy stone will press and in due course at the fermentation it will become thin, flat and it is solved. Sometimes it is dry. So here, dried one. If you dry, a case of this uh, fermented one, is, if you dry, it may not be around only one as a uh, hundred grams. So it is very costly, but here our thing is Spend somewhere this if you can make this powder that will be easy for us to keep it and use of juice. They put juice, we don't give juice from the this water, the juice that is come out from the fermented one. That also that we use, uh, this just we should put it in the vegetable. This is uh, as a food and one thing inside the bamboo, there's a caterpillar we call it tiny. That is very, very costly. That is found in the bamboo suit, inside the bamboo suit. But now this is very difficult to get. That is again also being taken away by this uh, like birds. Uh, woodpecker. Woodpecker would, uh, used to take it away. But that is very, very, if you can just systematically, if you can yeah, do it, uh, that, that part is very, very costly and test, very tasty and it is very much useful. It's very good and effective. Effectively, can be used for fishing, fishing bait. So, if you use that as a bait, this is very, very effective here. And in case of other thing, medicine, once uh, when I was here uh, running a women technology park, women technology park, one of the component was, though I am not expert, it was the propagation of blood, in the propagation of bamboo. I did a lot of this propagation, bamboo propagation, as you can see. Especially for this area where area is warm and given. This bamboo propagation is this, you see, this our creation system is only propagation from pulling out the rhizome and cutting uh, cut it off for the remote. But this whole if you bury a whole cut is from every dot which you should draw. So here this is the and then this your DSC is the science and technology yet they I don't know anything what is bad situation. I was completely novice. I was asking to do this, um, this homeopathy department, as you know, I'm reading all of this. They, they also say, as a student, they saw, but now they have not seen, I did not see. And even then, I started looking for the benefits, as men say about the uh, special. So then I started locating the old bamboo splitting areas to collect bamboo, this bunch also. And many cases, many areas, I found this ball of, <coughs> ball of orders inside the bamboo. Then I collected, again, I had a, enough collection. Again, it came with problems of this uh, testing. So I couldn't test it. So I kept it, I gave it to someone also, please test it, and then it was, this is a bamboo bunch lotion. It may be available, I don't know, but I collected it. <coughs> 
what I currently wear a very bad situation or oh, not. Still, I may be having somewhere and now I'm ready to expire. This is the, the this aspects of bamboo. Pickle with nowadays some of them are making bamboo pickle. This, uh, but it is also not that much successful. And this year, unless like you can help this. So one of the this serious problem nowadays is serious problem about the organizational practice, about the bamboo. One of the serious problem is bamboo flowering. <coughs> when they say bamboo flower, flowering, our people are complete, they are novish and they are helpless and they cannot, and they, they are deprived of the four five years, they are deprived of bamboo raw materials and bamboo as a food. This is one of the very serious things because some of the bamboos, so as Mem also said, all bamboos and eatable, all can be eaten, but taste is different. So at very good locally that, that we eat is commonly found bamboo. That is the mostly used, but when there is a bamboo flowering, it will occur here repeatedly, many times different bamboos have a different flowering time. At that time, there's a lot of problems here, just you know, red menaces, the airlines like so you know the, the flooding of the this this that bamboo just after them flowering or to die and as to book travel to use at the red that there uh, is to but this is flowering it cannot be made economic use it become very soft and very delicate and fire accident is very very common after the flowering so many times the measures they should say that the flowering areas to be simply cultivation wrongly this is one thing and another thing here is the problem is as the natural produce. Earlier people used to use the food for construction of houses. But nowadays people are going for permanent houses. Due to permanent houses, construction of bamboo groves are not used. Just city is left, is abandoned. Because, so this, my request would be in what way people can be encouraged so that people can make money from bamboo as a food, as a raw material. This is thing, so many areas, even in my place also, People are going for a permanent house. The bamboo is normally quiet. We can out, again outside that people will not, will not come and buy bamboos from my place. Same is the case of the palm leaves, which is used for roofing for a reduced house. Now they are using thin roofs. So, due to which, again, these are not cut. So, just, just for this morning also, I was taking those people <coughs> out those people, those who are less idea about the natural they, they, they should say forest area in our natural forest is reducing. But I used to say forest area in our natural forest is increasing because one of the serious things in our natural forest is all our use of the places. Here is a real key population. Due to real key population, this there is no replacing population to continue city cultivation. And there is no people to continue the forest based economy, forest based activities. This way in places now sitting cultivation is continuing continuation shifting cultivation is becoming less and less and shifting the one day shifting cultivation will be the challenge that this is a one of the serious things so in what way we can encourage people in what they can make money from this because bamboo grows faster than food and it is this durability is also one which is more durable yeah in areas where warm and humid yeah durability of bamboo is more than the wood so from it that this is my Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it depends on me. So this is my experiences. My request is those who are <coughs> have been working in scientifically in this background, please help us. So we are here. We know bamboo, we know users of bamboo, but scientifically we don't know and bamboo has become useless for these areas because only in capital areas to construction bigger houses for this trash and these things they are using but in places now bamboo is not used but this bulk is at the case of the bamboo as a food they are collect only for their own consumption because selling again it is a problem marketing problem is transportation problem these all are here so repeatedly i'm requesting please help us and i will also share so my little knowledge i'll share my little knowledge and there are many people who will be able to help you. So that way, should I thank you? And if you have anything, any queries, and I'm ready to tell you. 
question. I'll try to answer it. Thank you. Thank you, Tomo. It was wonderful. Uh, and uh, we, we take it forward. Actually, all of us uh, usually and joyfully <coughs> can yes. take the bamboo to a, um, uh, a height where we can think of bamboo-based development in the uh, sustainable development in the country. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, as uh, Nirmala mentioned, uh, that Niti Aayog, after probably for the first time, we have been trying that planning commission should constitute a, a task force, bamboo task force. In, 19, in, in 1914, uh, in 1914, for the first time in the country, uh, an inter, interministerial conference was organized under the chair of Mr. Gatkari, and eight ministries uh, actually uh, were the part of that whole conference. So bamboo at at uh, the federal level is spread over around uh, 13 uh, ministries uh, as per the NBM uh, National Bamboo Mission uh, guidelines. I have seen that. So it is. Uh, uh, so uh, it is uh, that that that's a uh, problem actually. Every bamboo is spread over so many ministries. So all uh, and Niti Ayo, Niti Ayo recently constituted this uh, mission so i think now you have to it, it is it is mission is not going to work national bamboo mission has not uh, not done any, anything uh, very spectacular and um, we need to have an authority it has emerged very strongly very strongly uh, over uh, many consultations about the policy part that we need to have an authority where all the ministry uh, all those sectors those wings of ministries dealing with bamboo should come uh, uh, and join and uh, uh, and form an authority uh, to take uh, bamboo forward and uh, think of uh, uh, to replicate the china model of bamboo based development uh, in, in the country okay so dr Bhattacharya, so, dr Bhattacharya, can i just make a comment to dr uh, to is it yeah, sure sure please go ahead yeah. please go ahead hello I just wanted to tell you that uh, you, uh, uh, most of the naughties, uh, they fermented just to keep increase its uh, shelf life. But from our experiments, we can keep bamboo without fermentation for one year. Okay. I just, yeah, just yeah. I, wa I wanted to show you this is from the lab. So this is a bamboo shoot one year. We have kept oh, it like this. So I would so, love to have the idea, ma'am. Yeah, it's just the proper processing which you need, and yes. you can keep. And you talk, you talked about uh, Muli bamboo, melucana, medif, uh, basif, flowering. flowering. Yes. So we know that ki, uh, basif, uh, melucana is going to flower at this particular year, so the, it is a fixed life cycle. So I was just thinking, when you know that next year uh, it is going to flower, why don't you harvest all the shoots? And then you keep it in a powdered form so that at least the flower, the flowering will not be uh, so great. At least you can cut, uh, it decrease maybe. And uh, so you have to be, I think, a bit, uh, uh, plan out some strategies for that because uh, Arunad Mizoram also, it's totally, it's all Logana. So the uses, so there should be some strategic planning with the government. So then Ma'am, this is a ma'am, Nimala ma'am. Because when they come to know that bamboo is flowering, then bamboo will not give suit. This new suit will not come out. So in mm -hmm. advance, we cannot identify whether bamboo is going to flower or not. This is a serious thing. And when they start the uh, appearance of the flowering, so bamboo will not do any activities. So this is a thing. Okay, and uh, so uh, you are in Arunachal, you are in Aizol? Aizol. Me? Uh, no, okay, sorry, sorry. That is Mizoram. Yeah, that is Mizoram. So I yeah. would like to. We have to conduct a survey. So I would like to contact you because we uh, and we are making a documentation of shoot different ways of the north of north, north east. I would like to contact you later. Especially keeping fresh for one year is useful. Very good yes. one. Yes. <laughs> I will also tell you how to do it. Yeah, the best thing is to be very yeah. good. Thank you, Nirmala. Uh, taking a clue from what Nirmala mentioned, the, I think 
uh, gregarious flowering and sporadic flowering. There are two types yeah. of flowering. So sporadic flowering takes up uh, every some some uh, clumps will will uh, flower, yeah. and uh, the flowering uh, flowering gregarious flowering has led to uh, devastation of many bamboo areas, especially 19, uh, 9, uh, the, uh, 2012, 2012. In central India, there was gregarious flowering. So we lost many, many, many uh, <coughs> large extensive areas of bamboo because of, because we did not treat the, uh, the, the post treatment is very, very important. Uh, or, uh, post uh, gregarious flowering treatment. And now it will, uh, it will surprise that uh, after gregarious flowering, the, the total bamboo area has reduced to uh, say 30% or 40%. Because we excluded the flowered, gregarious flowered area out of our management. So such such mistakes we uh, keep doing. So I think you can, uh, that uh, the suggestion of Narmila may be valid. If we are probably in working plants, you know, bamboo matab, in Arunachal, I think 80% area is under forest. But um, uh, 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 under bamboo area is under forest. So the yeah. working plants may be about the period of uh, periodic periodicity of um, flowering. So we, in most of the areas, we, we can we can uh, project, we can uh, know in advance which areas may might undergo in uh, under flowering. Okay, uh, we'll take up uh, questions just after. Of energy will share uh, some of our uh, ideas about bamboo uh, food, and then we'll take uh, questions. So, uh, actually, actually, Dr. Suchitra Banerjee is a, is a professor. Uh, she has retired recently right. as a professor in biotechnology. So, she has devoted her uh, life uh, uh, in teaching and research, especially in, in area of uh, biotechnology and uh, fishery cytogenetics. So, I request Dr. Suchitra Banerjee to share her thoughts on uh, bamboo, food and related uh, issues. Dr. Suchitra Banerjee. Thank you, Dr. Bhattacharya. And uh, thank you all the organizers uh, to let me share a few okay, words. Can you open, uh, would, would you like to open your video, please? Yeah. <coughs> uh, thank you. Thank so, uh, most of my uh, research work is on medicinal plants and I know very little about bamboo. But uh, today, uh, as Dr. Nirmala uh, just told us, uh, it has so tremendous, so many products can be made from uh, uh, its various uses as uh, bamboo powder or as various products. Um, and uh, she let us know the institution, uh, this nutritional facts of bamboo shoots and their usage as important traditional food of northeastern India. Uh, and she also uh, just followed the uh, biotechnological aspect of it, like food processing and preservation. Uh, I must add one more point as food safety for the consumers. Because food safety uh, nowadays is a global challenge to meet the requirements of consumers uh, with respect to hygiene and uh, nutritional qualities. So, um, as, as per the aims of food science and biotechnology, uh, these, all these bamboo products, uh, as we can see, uh, we can improve uh, their nutritive values and minimize the loss of essential nutri nutrients during the process and preservation. She told us almost all the processes, how to make uh, various products. And one thing what I feel is uh, to make all these products available as wholesome, nutritious and appetizing uh, food at economical uh, rates. So, so that the bamboo products uh, as a food will become popular quickly. Now, uh, one more thing is there. Uh, we need to ensure that it's long-term storage stability, even at uh, elevated temperatures or in uh, all, other, uh, all over the country uh, where the temperature is quite, uh, it is unlike uh, 
what we have in northeastern areas. Now, uh, one more thing is there. Uh, as uh, we, uh, we talk about food safety for the consumer, uh, what, uh, what is important, the, the, the persons who know more about bamboo can uh, just uh, verify this fact because hello yeah ma'am you are audible ma'am yes uh, these uh, while processing these bamboo shoots they should be properly processed before they are consumed as freshly harvested shoots they have highly high contents of toxic cyanogenic glycosides which may pose a serious, very serious health problem. So uh, this should be uh, taken care. This is a very uh, important aspect. And uh, of course, uh, the approach so far, bamboo nutrition is concerned should be interdisciplinary approach uh, so that uh, it becomes more prosperous, more popular. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Thank you, uh, Dr. Suchitra Banerjee. And uh, now, uh, we, it's open for question and answer session. So you can, uh, can I share Hello. opinions and... Uh, Hello. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Patanjali, I yeah. would just like to uh, comment on uh, Dr. Suchitra Banerjee's uh, yeah. uh, query. Please. Yeah, Dr. Suchitra, you very rightly said that uh, we have to make the products economical and you uh, mentioned also the safety aspects cyanide yes uh, bamboo shoots are <coughs> because the presence of cyanogenic glucosides uh, but uh, the cyanogenic glucosides which are present in bamboo it is taxifylene and taxifylene is soluble in water that is why our forefathers like they always soaked it overnight so it dissolves in water and so uh, most it is uh, removed and also the uh, concentration of uh, taxifylene it differs in different species like if you yes some uh, bamboo uh, do not uh, they uh, they are below the uh, uh, below the level of toxicity like if you take Melukana just uh, uh, Tomo just Mr. Tomo just uh, referred to, uh, and there is Philostichis minai. So there are some which do not, uh, which have content between 500 ppm. So they are and others. Yes, there are others which are uh, which have 1000 ppm. So that can be removed. So in all our experiments, we are processing can easily, first of all, it is soluble in water. If the shoots have more, they are the, the kept for a longer time or boiling, it removes everything. So all the product, after making the products also, we have also uh, determined the cyanogenic content. So it is safe only because of the uh, dexifylene, the type of cyanogenic glucoside which is present. The, and then also the safety aspects we have also carried out micro uh, the shelf life studies and the microbiological studies also uh, so one uh, student has done it so we do and because we know that it is a very sensitive thing because it is going to be consumed we have uh, uh, as for consumers we cannot make a product which will have any effect so those parts uh, have been also uh, studied and I agree that economical part that is very important and the whole economic part can be reduced only when we have large scale plantation. The first thing is we will have raw material throughout the year because if you start an industry, we cannot depend upon the natural resources. We have, have to have continuous supply. So four months cannot be enough for starting an industry for throughout. So last plantations and also of the same species because in our studies we carried out studies of 25 species and of these when we process it or when we keep for different uh, durations the color of changes so if suppose we are uh, try, uh, we go for uh, uh, export or also for the domestic markets if we mix uh, shoots for two uh, from two species 
the color will not be same, the text, the crispness. So there is a difference. So we have to be careful that it should be from one species, like Thai, uh, like whether it is Korea, <coughs> Thailand, or China. They grow the same species. So let us select just one. We have uh, identified for four or five which have commercial value. So that is a, uh, a good thing if farmers, if can, they can grow at a large scale and we process it and keep it so that we can supply it throughout the year. So that's uh, my point. Thank you. Thank you, Nirmala. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Major. Nirmala. That was <laughs> so the safety. Thank you. Uh, the of Karaj, as mentioned by Suchitra, is certainly an important uh, aspect. Yes. Uh, Nirmala, is there any any institutionalized certification uh, system mechanism for bamboo food? Uh, no, as such, we have we have only conducted it uh, uh, at our own. Uh, uh, but when we want to go for commercialization, we will have to look for it. But it is scientifically authentic, so and so we do not have any problem of showing our results. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yamula, there is there is a comment and partially question from Murali Murali Dharan. Okay. Uh, I read it out. Uh, bamboo shoots in the traditional fermented form is popular. You have also touched upon this issue. It is popular in many places but does not find acceptance in other regions due to the strong flavor and smell and probably also due to the difficulty in preparation. Is there, and now the question, is there a way to get around this problem and make it widely acceptable? Uh, yes, that is uh, fermentation is not uh, the smell is uh, pungent and uh, it is uh, it depends upon the individual because sometimes uh, we have to get used to it. So to get out to com completely because like when I came to the north, the smell of ghee like Haryana, Punjab, they like ghee a lot. But when I as a northeast came to ghee, it was very difficult for me. To, it was not so fermented shoots. If we try it. If we dry, we can uh, the uh, uh, the smell uh, is not uh, there as much as it is. So probably we could use it uh, as a food product, but I think it is it is a habit uh, which we get uh, we have to get used to. Just like cheese also, cheese. If you go to Europe, they, 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 it's there is it's so bad. But those who eat it, so but for the time being, you can uh, you can uh, go for fresh shoots. And Tomo will, uh, Mr. Tomo will agree, fermented shoots are, for us, It's uh, the smell is very good because we are used to it. So, but uh, we can decrease the smell if you, uh, and for decreasing the smell also, if you take the shoots and you uh, mash it with salt, you put salt and then you mash it for, you uh, you mix it for a long time and then you take out. So, with salt, half of the smell can be taken out. That is our traditional yeah, way. Just, just to supplement men, for us, for smell only we see. The only first thing is smell makes us to eat. And when there is no bambusu smell, so again, this is not a bambusu for us, fermented one. So like a fermented soybean smell is different thing. So this is a very weak, this uh, that enhance our test. This smell is to enhance our test. Very we eat for test smell. This is one thing for us, for others it is different. Yeah. Or lastly, we can use the genetically modified food also for, for North, especially for North Indians. Uh, that, uh, some, no, some genetically don't like the taste of and the smell of garlic. So we have some other options. But if, if, if the, not GMOs, if not GMOs, some other no, options as no, I, Mr. Tomu just said. I would like to say that it will be very difficult to genetically modify bamboo because they are polyploids. Polyploids, it's very difficult to manipulate. So if it is a diploid, you can think about that. Yeah. But uh, because of that, <coughs> so it's uh, better to get it in another form to remove that uh, the smell yeah. in another form. Yes. No, but I agree with you, Nimala. Uh, uh, when I had beer at the age of for the first time at the age of 22 or 23, I disliked it like anything. I, I was, which was, it was awful. And now I am a beer man. I like beer only. So I have tested about 400 beers all over the world. So I okay. think you can we will develop a, a test. Actually, Harpal has some uh, question. Uh, yes. uh, Dr. Nirmala, uh, thanks uh, for giving excellent information. Thank you. And uh, 
I had some doubts because I was fed in a very different way that uh, all the species are not uh, you know, consumable. But uh, you cleared my doubts. Uh, my question is, uh, uh, you know, uh, I would like to propagate uh, bamboo in a big way, organic bamboo. Uh -huh. So, uh, which are the species which are suitable for uh, Punjab, uh, Haryana and uh, Rajasthan? That's what I would like to know from you. And uh, any assistance from the government uh, in these three states? And uh, can I have your presentation? You know, the, yeah, yeah. Shall you go through it. So yeah, that's sure, the sure. Rest I can talk to you on telephone and we can... Because uh, yes, very, yes. Uh, Ludhiana is not very far from my place. I'm from Sirsa. Okay, you're from Sirsa. Sirsa is a dry place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But so we, we have, have it. we have means to irrigate, and uh, yeah. we just recently investigated some uh, uh, parts in Rajasthan, deep in Jaisalmer, uh -huh. where uh -huh. the water table is only six feet. Uh -huh. So you can uh, think uh, we have a bamboo sitter in uh, in our garden. We grow twenty six bamboo species. They grow very well. So uh, maybe sometimes if you come up, you can have a look at that. So, and uh, strictus strict will not give a lot of, uh, uh, it, uh, it is, it can be eaten, but the shoots are also not very large. So it is a male bamboo. And so when you go for commercialization, you also look for a uh, species which gives big shoots. So Hamiltonite grows here. Hamiltonite really grows, is more suitable for the high altitude, but Tulda, Tulda and Balkua, they grow very well. They have good shoots. and. Gigantious is the best we have in our uh, in our garden and it is not irrigated even it is grows in that because sometimes the malis in the water <coughs> garden they are really do not give uh, give water but the size of the shoots and the number one clump gives thirty four shoots that's huge amount and it's so big so gigantious is one you can try which grows uh, which can grow in uh, Punjab mm -hmm. so I the main as per uh, Nirmala, as per will be a good species eh? yes. Yeah, Asper is also good, but compared to Asper, Jagetius is better. Do you have Asper, it? Yes, Asper. Uh, uh, no, uh, one thing, one problem is that we, if you want to grow, where will you get the sapling? That is one thing. That's because, what I'm asking you. Yes, no, we, we just grow it for our scientific <clears throat> studies, but that is one bottleneck in India. We talk, we are all depending upon uh, the natural resources, and if farmers say that, let me give. Give me uh, five thousand species uh, bamboo sapling. Okay, can, can I? I have another request. I have a uh, a, a small lab we recently opened. Can you help uh -huh. me uh, develop into a tissue you know, culture? Uh, you know that uh, uh, tissue culture lab. Yes, we are. We are developing. We uh, are developing the uh, dendroclimus asper asper plant. Let's we can develop. Because, because if we cannot get the plants from uh, yeah. your different states, and uh, that's what I found out, is very difficult and very costly. Yeah, yeah, that and is. It's that not is easy the, to propagate. That so is maybe you guys can develop it and we take it. Yeah, yeah we have developed protocol for Esper. We are working for Gigantius. Gigantius is a little bit difficult. Esper is <coughs> very well established. So when we talk about uh, in the higher, uh, higher hierarchy, upper hierarchy. The, we talk about only bamboos, no drink, but these are basic things we have to look for. First, supply, uh, we should be able to uh, supply all the farmers the saplings because seeds we cannot depend. So it is yeah. plantation of saplings, that is one thing, and uh, yeah, huge scale. So we are trying to, we, we I expressed that in the in Niti Aayog, uh, 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 it was in December when they called, uh, and uh, yeah, they are putting me as for the food and farm. I said that plantation, nobody is thinking about plantation. And, yeah. and supply of material. So we also, when we were working, we said we thought that this would be one bottleneck. So we have developed, uh, we have a tissue culture lab also, and we are developing uh, uh, saplings from here. For now, the technology is established. Only we have to see how to how to go forward. That's excellent. That's excellent. Very encouraging. I can request uh, Dr. Ramesh Chandra as well. And uh, please, uh, that's not very nice. Very encouraged. Akbal, uh, tissue you culture has a scheme for uh, supporting tissue culture labs. So, so that's fantastic. That's also, fantastic. also even for private people, even for private. People. That's fantastic, sir. So how to get around it? Uh, I'll get you connected. I'll get you connected. For and uh, please, uh, Nirmala man's uh, number as well. Yeah, sure. sure. Uh, Nirmala, regarding uh, plantation. Uh, 
the existing uh, bamboo stock you are mentioning that we don't have bamboo we have to we don't have a proper baseline data about the available bamboo stock with farmers and in, even in the forest okay mm -hmm. so uh, you'll be surprised that uh, in madhya pradesh eh, we get 1 crore uh, bamboo poles from uh, uh, forest and 4 crore 4 crore from outside forest okay mm -hmm. and we don't have we don't have any data the, the, the uh, bam, uh, farmers have bamboos they don't know where to sell we want to purchase bamboo we don't know where uh, yes so we first of all before, before we go for large scale plantation first we have to consume the bamboo uh, resource already available in the farms mm -hmm. so you yeah. don't have any data about the already existing bamboo resource in the farmers so mm -hmm. uh, they, they are the people have bamboo and they are unable to sell, sell those bamboo and a lot of, people, lot of farmers approach me where to sell where to uh, uh, get the price of it. I have, I have I have an answer to your question. Yeah. You see, we've been researching on uh, bamboo biochar. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I know. I, 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 <laughs> we have come up with it, and uh, uh, you know, it's a self-sustainable system. And one of our systems, out of the ten systems in uh, India from BMO, it's been uh, accepted. So uh, you know, that role model is there, and uh, we can propagate it. That's what. Uh, uh, yeah, I agree. I tell you, uh, Nirmala, just this morning, DFO CD called me that there are forest committees, you know, uh, Madhya Pradesh, we have in many states, we have forest committees. Forest committees are, are supported uh, financially, technically to raise bamboo plantation. Now they have lots of bamboo plantations and there are, um, uh, they don't have any market. So he is asking for ma market uh, um, uh, to sell this bamboo. Yeah. Already Schemes and we can present it to uh, Niti Ayog about it. Yes, I have yes, been yes. telling them. 
I've been yeah. telling them. Um, they, they, I, well, I, that's twenty years later. Made, made a committee. Nothing will happen. That's it. I will tell them the farmers, the farmers to grow a specific bamboo. And once I start, once we start it, uh, there will be. Uh, uh, but, uh, but they have to grow what we want then they will be will purchase it directly and no 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 wo to baat ki baat hogi pehle jo hai usko kharido wo sara jo hai wo unka market hai unka use hai uh, dr bhattacharya can i can i come up with some thing you yes. see uh, in north india we have a deficit uh, uh, of bamboo uh, at the moment at the moment there is no uh, stress on selling main main har baar tumhari baat nahi manunga jab tak ki aap mujhe baseline survey ka um, authentic data do ओके okay. जैसे मैंने जब भी मैंने देखा है बांस इतने ज्यादा है आई टेल यू मैं हम बांस नॉर्थ ईस्ट से खरीद के ला रहे थे वी वर ट्राइंग टू डेवलप ऑन बैंगो बेस इको टूरिज्म डेस्टिनेशन मेरा मैनेजर नॉर्थ ईस्ट से बैंगो खरीद के ला रहा था मैंने एमपी में खोज किया छिंदवाड़ा में इतने बांस मिले मुझे वहां से 75 रुपए का बांस ला रहा है यहां पे हमको जो है वो 35 रुपए में बांस बेच रहा था मार्केट नहीं है तो हमने फिर पूछा एक लाख पांच जो है छिंदवाड़ा से खरीदा यहाँ पे पास में ये वो बात मतलब व्हाई व्हाई इज़ दैट वो डेटा इट नॉट अवेलेबल टू एवरीवन पता तो लगे ना कहाँ क्या मिल रहा है Of bamboo wood, 
so they 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 need 700 tons per, um, uh, bamboo per day for their full production so for the last 3 years they are promoting bamboo um, uh, growing bamboo growing growing in maharashtra madhya pradesh odisha uh, or, or, or because this is a huge amount huge quantity wo to karna hi padega agar aapko industry karna hai to aap bamboo se mera concern ye hai my design of uh, industry is very different i believe in uh, uh, going uh, you know from farmer itself uh, you know on a smaller scale and not a big industry big industry somehow it doesn't fit into my uh, thought process you see small scale industries and in, in a chain work uh, uh, i cannot because of, uh, you know time uh, that's that, that, that's that's why it takes that's why it takes and it. just and just i want to add one thing also jaise ki in colombia or mexico brazil they industry jahan bamboo grow karte they because you are talking about transportation they build their industry inside in just adjacent to their their their, their, their fields so they do not go, have, go for so in the treatment everything is there so they just go and cut it so if setting up very close proximity that will also cut the, the down the, the See, down uh, we in punjab and haryana that uh, you know the uh, weather is changing and we are losing on carbon and uh, this benefits the soil water table and so many things and we used to have it i tr- i have already tried growing it and it grows beautifully you know uh, then so many benefits are uh, you guys have already told us so why not to grow it here mm-hmm. it mera, arpal mera ye kehna hai aap farmers se bolo hum sara baas aap se khareed lenge aur agar ka- ka- in, ah, that that is there in, that, in many cases sir. in many cases that's what i am wo khud hi grow karenge government ka bas yani ki zarurat nahi hai i have, they will ask me give us a sampling people have asked me ah, people have offered you. me thousands of acres yeah. where do i get it from can i uh, you see yeah, yeah. 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 Morley, Morley, yeah, morley. Uh, two points uh, yeah. we cannot hear you your voice properly morley oh i'm sorry uh, am i audible now yeah better yeah, yeah. Uh, basically what i was saying is that uh, the forest of india you know, other uh, work that they're doing is more than thing actually are uh, surveying bamboo also uh, if i remember they are planning to do it at the district level uh, and find skills matching i am not sure whether they have completed the work but uh, if that is completed then uh, we would be able to get uh, a stock of uh, bamboo available in the forest yeah. as well as the thing maybe even if it is completed uh, they need to do the work of uh, making it available to the public and the industry so that uh, they can do the planning properly and uh, as far as uh, uh, supply of uh, planting material is concerned uh, the national bamboo mission already has uh, schemes but how practical it is to implement it across the entire country uh, how many nurseries have come up how many actually know about the bamboo species that are required for a particular area these are things that we need to uh, we need to actually uh, work on that a bit uh, further so as uh, what you mentioned is quite right we need a cluster approach where uh, there are plants in an area and uh, depending on uh, what species are available the industry should be set up so that there is uh, zero waste uh, uh, i think that uh, uh, grevel was mentioning like the conversion to biochar biochar is a, a good alternative to avoid waste uh, uh, and making it uh, useful for, uh, making a useful product out of it so there are many things that need to be integrated uh, it's not that we do not know we do not have the technology to uh, solve all these problems integration uh, is important yeah integration is very important so i think uh, as we go along we should pay attention to those points rather than uh, keep talking about the limitations uh, of course the government uh, niti aayog uh, the bamboo mission all have a role to play in that but i think uh, it's not because we have like, we lack in technology or uh, uh, no uh, um, uh, only uh, as i mentioned too many organization too many institution there is already national bamboo mission Why should Niti Aayog have? Uh, should have another mission? Thank you. I'm quite right about that. There's no need to duplicate it. We've been talking, uh, having <laughs> seminars uh, uh, where we are actually repeating the same things many times over. Uh, I think it is time that we uh, need to focus now on uh, what kind of action actually results in uh, uh, the kind of uh, solutions that we are uh, being. I think all our uh, seminars uh, should now focus on that. What are the needs? and what are the specific solutions, solutions yeah yeah that uh, the other things are well known now uh, talking about which species uh, are available yeah, all, yeah. most of the things are known most of the yeah. things are known.
thank you thank you murli any any other query opinion from any other participant any brilliant idea any solution yes integration is uh, mostly essential and uh, i think that why need to i took up uh, this uh, bamboo develop mission is because national bamboo mission uh, i think according to what the discussion was not is not uh, they are expect more from them and uh, 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 I just want to share that there also a uh, mission director uh, after some time uh, was uh, 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 she was not, uh, left and then Niti Ayuk, uh, 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 those uh, directors, they were saying that why has this is a uh, discussion time, it was important, why it is not taken there. So I think there are issues, internal issues, ego issues or some things where we are not able to come together because if we, were, if we want to develop something, I think we should uh, uh, focus more on the issue rather than on person. So these as uh, we have been observing it for quite a uh, quite a long time. So I uh, we hope that he, for us, we are scientists, wherever uh, we are required, uh, we just, uh, we are ready to help. But but it depends on we, uh, we cannot go on the forefront. It is somewhat like somebody from who is responsible that you call up the groups and sit down and talk about it. Because uh, for, from uh, I'm speaking from my side as a scientist because I'm not in administration. Wherever we are said that okay, you won't want it for uh, for developing this, that we are ready. So so now it depends upon we have actually, seen. Uh, you are right. Actually, it's more of institutional problem. Yeah. But you'll be surprised if you know uh, earlier there was NMBA National Mission on Bamboo uh -huh. Application. Now it is Nectar Northeast uh, uh -huh. uh, that. I cannot imagine of a federal organization being lowered to a regional organization. So now, now NMB was looking after bamboo completely. Nectar looks after many, many products. So Nectar is now confined to Northeast. So and for NMB and National Bamboo Mission. National Bamboo Mission is for the resource development. Next, uh, NMBA was for application of that resource. They, for the first time, they made a one to one in 19, uh, 2000, uh, 2013. Uh, and, and then the National Bamboo Mission was created in probably 2004 or so. So, for 10 years, they, they did not meet National NMBA National Mission on Bamboo Application and National Mission. So, it's more of an institution pro, institutional problem. Uh, in, in integration is very much required. And uh, more, more, uh, there should be only one organization dealing with bamboo uh, at the federal level. And uh, if, uh, if many ministries have bamboo skills, many ministries, MSME, tribal, and all, all that. So that, that, that's that's uh, one uh, very, very uh, weak, weak linkage about bamboo best development. Anyway, any, any other person in the class? Uh, any question? Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, is it attached with the uh, horticulture uh, or forestry or uh, 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 that, that, agriculture? Uh, that, that, that's also an ambiguity. At federal level, National Bamboo Mission is, is, is with agriculture. Okay. Same goes for organic. Huh? Same goes for organic. Yeah, and, 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 and at the state level, Bamboo Mission is with either forest or horticulture or agriculture or industry. In three states, it's uh, industry. Uh, Assam, Tripura, and Kerala. So they are performing best because the marketing marketing is a gray area and bamboo forward and backward linkages. So in uh, uh, the, the, when it is with industry, they look at at the from the commercial angle, from business by model angle, from uh, integration angle. So they are doing the best wherever it is. The major bamboo mission is with uh, uh, industry, and uh, if it is forestry, then you you have a regulatory approach. You have a regulatory approach in in agriculture and horticulture. <coughs> it is, uh, it is uh, just insignificant. So it, it is being neglected in all. Uh, uh, if, uh, and bamboo to uh, grow uh, to to have bamboo institutionalized, bamboo based development institutionalized. Uh, we have proposed always all fora that it should be with the, with the commerce and industries. Bamboo bamboo mission should be with the commerce and industries. Commerce ministry, commerce ministry of commerce and industries. 
because it needs forward and backward linkages, marketing. It has trees. to be grown. It's an agriculture base. No, no, no. Product, product may be anything. It, 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 the, the agriculture, you can give, give it as PPP, public private partnership. You, you can encourage, you can have industry, you can uh, promote it uh, outside, outside, say, uh, government area. So, for all these, uh, the forest department will not work outside forest area. They will not encourage uh, people uh, say, to grow bamboo in their own area. So, it, it's a, um, uh, considering all the aspects, all the aspects of bamboo, uh, it has been, uh, it has strongly emerged that bamboo best, bamboo mission will be the best in Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Well, I don't know. I, maybe I differ. Uh, maybe I don't have the experience. Mm. I differ a little bit. You see, because uh, since it has to be grown, I am talking about my three states in North India, and you are talking uh, from the place where the abundance uh, already bamboo available. No, no, no. Well, whatever it is grown, yeah, it, it, uh, because it will be grown in private area mostly. Suppose if it is grown in. Uh, can, yeah, I, can I come in? See, if, you, if, if you see a spices board or a rubber board uh, encourages cultivation as well as its use, uh, it probably is a successful model. So it, it doesn't really matter whether it is a ministry of commerce or industry. No, no, board is in the commerce industries. Yeah, yeah, rubber board, yes, 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 all yeah, these then, boards are under commerce and industries. Uh, but then you have experts uh, who know about it. No, no, experts should be there. I'm talking yeah, about so, a nodal ministry. I'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, nodal yeah. ministry. It may not be suitable to have it in the forest and environment because no. we are actually looking at No, 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 neither. And, and you see, agriculture, it has been right for, from the beginning, it has been agriculture. It, it has not contributed any, anything significant. That I think is because traditionally bamboo is never part of the kind of uh, fishery. Yeah, and it will uh, never be because uh -huh. for them, bamboo is very insignificant. Looking at the volume of agriculture they produce, they have to deal with. And uh, there is, you know, if you remember, there was National Bamboo Mission. Then it became Bamboo National Agro Forest and Bamboo Mission. And when it got converted into Agro Forest and Bamboo Mission, that year or two years, National for Bamboo they did not get any any fund. They got fund for Agro Forestry. They did not get any fund for Bamboo Bamboo Exclusive. Yeah. And, and there are there are, there are large number of schemes under MSME, commercial industry, agriculture, mm -hmm. tribal, um, uh, science and technology. So all these should uh, merge. Yeah, 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 should merge, merge actually. There should be an, a, an authority. Like yes, I was yes. working with National uh, Highways Authority of India. This is independent. And they, and all these uh, these schemes of all the ministries should merge into that authority. Yes, and that yes. authority will work independently. Maybe the nodal, there has to be one nodal ministry. The best nodal ministry for bamboo is, is the commerce area. It should be under one umbrella. Yes, yes. Very, very. That's the same yeah. is organic. You see, a PETA is doing organic and uh, uh, their uh, accreditation has been cancelled and the uh, uh, country has been shamed. Because they are only uh, talking about uh, the commerce side. And uh, they have compromised uh, they have compromised every every uh, ethic. So it has to go with the agriculture ministry as well as Ayush. Because uh, Ayush is more close to organic. And Ayush is suffering because all the universities are uh, uh, suggesting uh, chemical inputs. So where does the Ayush come from? So it's, it's a hodgepodge. And I agree with you that it should be one umbrella under which... Uh, Maybe yeah. different sections and uh, it should be controlled from one umbrella. Any any other person, any other expert, any other suggestion? So then I'll, I'll call uh, two persons at the end. Uh, first, Raju hai, or Raju Banjara. Raju Banjara and then Charu. Charu will uh, give con concluding remarks. Raju hai? Raju? No, sir. वहाँ वहाँ कौन सी राय प्रभाव जाता है बार बार जी पटकाती तो आप जब उनसे खरीदोगे भाई अच्छा बात हम खरीदेंगे आप लगाओ हम खरीदेंगे सिर्फ आप खरीदना शुरू कर दो फिर देखो आप कैसे चेंज आता है 
सर उनको कॉल लगाया मैंने रमेश भाई को बोला है सर की उन्हें कनेक्ट करे करे अरे आप छोड़ो वो बहुत बार बार वो जाए वो एक्चुअली अंग्रेजी के वजह से जो हाँ सर वो हमको समझ में कुछ नहीं आता ना सर उन्होंने अंग्रेजी में चलता है ना वो बेचारे दुखी हो जाते हैं तो एनी वे ठीक है राजू एक्चुअली राजू बंजारा इज मतलब फ्लैग बियर ऑफ दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और मैं उनको हेल्प कर रहा हूँ बेसिकली आई एम ऑन मिशन गिविंग बैक तो मैं इस तरह के बहुत सारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को हेल्प कर रहा हूँ मेरा मेरा कोई एग्जिस्टेंस नहीं है मैं कुछ नहीं हूँ तो मैं थोड़ा जो लोग काम कर रहे हैं उनको हेल्प कर रहा हूँ तो ये दिस मिशन आई एम ऑन मिशन गिविंग बैक सो मैं बैंकू जो ये सेंटर है इसको ये बंद हो गया था एक्चुअली तो ये लोग लगे थे तो बेस्ट इन द कंट्री ओके तो नाउ एट दी एंड टाइम भी हो गया हमारा सो आई रिक्वेस्ट चारू चारू इज दोज हु आर अटेंडिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ही इज फ्रॉम आईआईटी बॉम्बे एंड यू वाज अर्लियर इन आईआईटी दिल्ली एंड ही इज वन ऑफ द लीडिंग बैंबू स्ट्रक्चरल इंजीनियर आई न्यू आई न्यू दैट ही दे ओनली ओनली वन इन द कंट्री ही सेज कि देयर आर फ्यू मोर ही हैज उसके बाद और भी आ गए हैं so i request uh, charu to conclude and give uh, the session before you uh, conclude charu can i ask you a question yes yes please sir please can it be uh, this bamboo i have been told one of my uh, friends that it can be used instead of uh, iron for construction you mean to say as a form of reinforcement ha ji to substitute ah. iron with bamboo ye badalne ke liye keh rahe hain जैसे सरिया है ना उसकी जगह इसको इस्तेमाल किया जा सकता है नॉट कंप्लीटली बट हाफ ट्रूथ एंड लॉट ऑफ मोर रिसर्च इज रिक्वायर्ड बट सडनली लाइक वेरेबल आपके नहीं है वहां आप यूज कर सकते हैं
from because he is uh, he has his own uh, company and doing so that just to get more better information because he has been with that for a long time i think uh, i think uh, taru kode has not been introduced uh, properly here uh, he, he is an expert in that he is an engineer who has worked on that aspect and uh, worked with a group in uh, uh, at delhi before moving over very Uh, Mumbai, and I think he he can give an answer, a uh, definite answer on that. It can be done. There are several groups working on that. But is it true? Charu can. Why don't you just clarify the thing a bit? Yeah, yeah. So, so बोल ले तो दो. I have to technically clarify. Then uh, rest uh, will have to later be clear with me. So uh, there are two concepts. One right? is static loading, and one is dynamic loading. And uh, dynamic loading is uh, when you deal with earthquakes, wind loads, and you know external loads, even with uh, the people walking around in the floor, uh, things like that. So these these come under the dynamic load category. And what happens is that when this dynamic load comes in with bamboo, because it's uh, soft and uh, it is uh, you know silica and all the bond, the bonding between the cement and uh, this bamboo is not well established. and we don't have a very uh, what you can say established procedure uh, where this bonding is adequately you know ascertained that it will definitely perform so that is why i said that it is uh, uh, too far from now uh, it's it's not that it's absolutely not possible but uh, it's it's not uh, the technology is not available yet okay and uh, even if that is available there are not many uh, you know uh, challenges in terms of the uh, atmospheric uh, uh, response of bamboo like uh, in the moisture it swells it uh, shrinks and because of this swelling and shrinking the contact between the concrete and bond uh, uh, reinforcement also gets lost and whatever reinforced concrete design is is primarily based on the bond between the concrete and the steel or for that matter bam- concrete and bamboo in the moment this expansion contraction has happens it is due to atmospheric response that bond get lost and that is where the whole thing you know uh, falls to and uh, whatever structures that have been built in even india then they have reported a level of cracking and things like that so that's why i said that you need to take the thing with pinch of salt now uh, it is also that uh, wherever this has been used in the foundation slab that is which is in direct contact with the earth and where uh, the earth is well compacted and uh, on behalf of uh, balaghat bamboo foundation as well as the organizing team we thank you very much for your time and uh, your effort in uh, sharing your uh, knowledge uh, so thank you very much for everyone else i would uh, like to uh, request uh, 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 ajay sir who wants to put some closing remarks for this इंटेलिजेंट लोगो से अगर इसी तरह से क्षमा किया चलो नहीं कहा कुछ अच्छा कर पाएंगे और अभी तो हम लोग कर ही रहे हैं संघर्ष और हमारे आदरणीय भट्टाचार्य जी भी काफी हमारी मदद कर रहे हैं इस काम में हमको बीच बीच में मार्गदर्शन देते हैं और एक सही रास्ता भी <laughs> आप लोगों से मिलने का मौका भी मैं बोल नहीं पाऊंगा चलो धन्यवाद राजू अच्छा काम कर रहे हो अच्छा काम करो और ठीक है सभी को थैंक्स टू ऑल and it's it has been a great wonderful come on you want to say something no no sir thank you okay so it's a special thanks to tomo